Two times a year down in Worth County, a peanut harvest happens, but it's not your typical peanut harvest. This particular harvest is the cutting and baling of perennial peanut hay, a product Keith and Josh White, a father and son duo, have been growing for 20 years now. He started uh, with perennial peanuts probably 20 years ago, and several years ago the variety we had started losing production and he was close to getting out of it and I decided that I saw the potential in it and I wanted to get in it too so we planted a new variety and since then it has grown fairly well. According to White it's a great thing to grow because it's a tough crop. It doesn't require very much water the roots on this ecoturf perennial peanuts are almost 36 inches deep so an inch of rain every couple of weeks will keep it going. Uh, there's very little bug problems. I've never seen any army worms in it, but I know they can get in it. But other than that, it's a pretty, it's a pretty easy crop as far as growing it. What also makes this crop so great is its forage quality. Most of what we uh, sell to are uh, horse people and it's alfalfa, perennial peanut, grass hay. So, I mean, it's, it's very comparable to alfalfa. The protein's seven to eight points off of it, but uh, the relative forage quality, which is the number everyone goes to, we, ours in the past several years has been between 175 to 190, uh, whereas alfalfa can be 210, 230, somewhere in that range. So, I mean, it's very, very high quality horse feed. Over the past 20 years, their market has really grown, so much so they've even had to turn down customers. There's a great demand for it now, and it's growing every day. Uh, I get phone calls almost every other day uh, about the hay. Uh, honestly, I don't think I can produce enough. Uh, I, I get a lot of phone calls from North Georgia. That's a market I'm really wanting to move into, and we've picked up several customers here in the past couple of months from North Georgia. So that's out of state. We've got several folks from out of state, South Florida, Alabama, that's been clamoring for it. And you know, the more and more I can plant, the more I can push into those other areas. And amazingly, they don't even have to advertise. Honestly, I don't have to do anything. Uh, word of mouth is what's really getting this going. Um, like I said, you know, I get folks calling from all over I mean, people are hearing about it, they want it. Producing it is just the problem. It's extremely expensive to put in, and uh, you know, it takes several years before you see a return off of it, but you know, like I said, it, it, it handles itself for the most part. Reporting in Worth County for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.